And good morning, good timers. Welcome to another three day weekend vlog with Andy and Simone. So like most of our vlogs here, we are starting off our morning, not going anywhere towards our location, destination I should say, but right here at Starbucks in Waterville, Maine. So that's how we start all of our three day weekend <laughs> vlogs. So why not do it again? It's tradition. <laughs> This one's going to be a little bit on the colder side this weekend, guys. Obviously, we're in dead of winter here in Maine. It's actually supposed to be a decent weekend. It's supposed to be in the mid-30s. but um, will be good. Yeah, we're heading to the mid-coast, which we've uh, taken you to the mid-coast before, but it's been uh, Pemaquid. That's actually considered the mid-coast as well. But today, we're going to be taking you to uh, Rockland, Maine. So, in all this uh, rounding towns, uh, Owl's Head and Thomas, Thomaston. Tom Thompson? Thomaston. Thompson. Thomaston as well. So, yes, we're going back to the mid-coast. Um, not Belfast, not Pemaquid but Rockland this time, so we will see you guys along the way. Okay, good timers. So we've stopped for some uh, lunch or breakfast, I should say. Probably about uh, 15 minutes outside of Rockland in a town called Union, and we have come to the Come Spring Cafe. Something we can all agree on here in the dead of winter that uh, spring is hopefully right around the corner. So, found this place on Yelp. It's supposed to have some good reviews. Gonna go give it a try. All right, guys, we get the place uh, pretty much all to ourselves. Another uh, group just left, but uh, yeah, we got it all to ourselves now. So. Unfortunately, uh, we got here a little bit late in the morning and uh, they sold out of both corned beef hash and sausage biscuits and gravy. Damn Andy sleeping in. That's right. Damn Andy sleeping <laughs> in. Yep. So anyway, Simone's going to have, I think, some eggs still, but I'm going to opt for a uh, open face meatloaf sandwich for lunch here instead and some oh, homemade onion rings. So yeah. waiting for those to come out, but uh, hopefully it's going to be great. Uh, So what you got in that? I'm supposed to have sausage, but I want bacon. All right. So it's eggs, bacon, onion, hash browns, cheese. Sounds good to me. I think that's it. Oh, green peppers and onions, yeah. All right, guys, going in for the homemade onion rings first. Don't burn your face off. Mm, very good. Nice and lightly breaded. Yep, time some meatloaf. Yep. Good Not too thick of a piece. A little toaster bread there. Mm. That's very good. Nice and oniony, guys. No green peppers in there, which I like. <laughs> I was about to say never. Very asked. nice, rich gravy. Excellent. All right, so considering I had lunch, that means I have to have dessert, obviously. And one of my favorite desserts is carrot cake. And this one looks pretty darn good, so no raisins, which is great. It's a good way to ruin a carrot cake is with raisins, so. True. I agree. Mm. Looks good. Yep, very good. Moist. Very, yeah, very moist. <laughs> and lots of cream cheese frosting, which is never a bad thing. Uh-uh. Okay guys, the uh, final verdict on the Come Spring Cafe is it's a little sketchy from the outside, can't lie to you, but um, the food is pretty darn good. Uh, I really enjoyed my meatloaf. It had nice small pieces of uh, vegetables in there, which I like. I'm not a big fan of green peppers in my meatloaf, so I wasn't really able to taste them, but I did see a couple in there, but it was all very uh, good. Uh, the gravy was nice and rich, and the onion rings were nice and fresh. Nice and homemade and, and Simone. Fresh. Really liked her egg scramble, and I actually liked her egg scramble as well. I tried a couple bites, and that was very good. It had some fresh potatoes in there, and lots of cheese, and onions, and green peppers again, and uh, obviously eggs. So, yeah, 
And bacon. I got bacon. Yeah, and bacon Usually was there. comes with sausage, but... Yep. So, I would suggest uh, the Come Spring Cafe if you guys are driving by and uh, are heading towards Rockland to uh, stop in and have yourself some uh, some lunch or breakfast. Uh, breakfast apparently is very good, but they were all out of it. So, a um, little insider tip. Don't try to go to breakfast on a Saturday at uh, 12 o'clock if you want anything that's uh, really good on the menu because they're going to be sold out. So, And sure enough, they were. No hash. No sausage, biscuits, and gravy, which were the two things I was actually planning on getting. So, go figure. Wake up early and get there on time, and you'll actually, probably actually be able to taste that stuff. So, all right, we have about uh, 20 minutes ahead of us drive. We are going to go straight to the Rockland Breakwater Headlight, and that is uh, probably the most popular attraction in Rockland. And uh, we will show you that here in a few minutes. Okay, guys, we are here in Rockland now, and behind us is the Breakwater. And Rockland is named after their uh, main economy from the 1700s they used to deal with uh, granite and limestone quite a bit so that's why the town is called Rockland and the breakwater is actually made up of 700,000 different rocks that were brought in over the course of 20 years the lighthouse itself has been here since 1902 and is a working lighthouse so you are able to walk right out to it over the breakwater and so that's what we're gonna do so guys the walk out to the lighthouse is a little bit under a mile Feels like about 10 though in the winter time probably. We'll find out soon enough. That's right, we'll find out soon enough. Pickles here is dressed up in her uh, winter clothing, so she's ready. Got my puppy down. And I'm dressed up in my winter clothing as well. Not quite as many layers as Simone has on, but right now the tide is out, so uh, should be a pretty easy walk. When the tide is coming in and during stormier times, the uh, water actually crashes right up over the breakwater which obviously can be a little dangerous, so you don't want to be uh, walking across it when that's happening. And we are here out on the uh, breakwater now. As I said, it's low tide right now, so there's not a whole lot of water breaking, but it has been known to break up right over this here during stormier times. Behind us is Simone but also is the Samoset Resort, which is actually one of the more famous resorts here in uh, mid-coast Maine. It's actually a uh, timeshare, so if you are timeshare owners of Hilton properties, like Simone and I are, or RCI properties, you can actually stay there at the Samoset Resort. We never have, but you can. So, one good thing about these masses is keeping my uh, ears and uh, neck warm, at least. This leads to some benefit. That is very fashionable. Got these masks from uh, Mark Anderson, Pennies for Vegas, while we were in Vegas. It's courtesy of the Stage Door Casino, and they've come in pretty handy. Okay guys, we've made it to the end where the lighthouse is. Just to give you a little bit of perspective of how far we walked. Far enough. Like I said, about a little under a mile is the actual uh, length of the breakwater here. And you can actually climb up the stairs over here at the lighthouse and hang out up top there. I don't know, sure, we're gonna go left. You tell me in a minute. Hopefully when we get up there it's warmer. <clears throat> Pro probably not. Kind of warmer. Ooh, actually, it is the brakes out here. Yeah, here. exactly. That's what I was just going to say. And in the distance there, guys, is Rockland Harbor, and we'll be heading that direction here at some point today. Rockland is actually home to the largest fleet of Maine windjammers as well. Little known fact there for you. I don't think there's any windjammers in the harbor right now, because there's nothing much in the harbor at all right now, but in the summertime, it's loaded with uh, windjammer sailboats.
So there you go guys, if you can't read that. It says construction of this 4,300 foot long breakwater began in April of 1881. Over 18 years and $750,000 were spent on 7,300, no, sorry, 732,277 tons of granite ladder. Later. It was completed in 1899. The lighthouse dates from 1902 and was placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1981. So there we go. The city of Rockland accepted ownership of the lighthouse in 1998. Okay. All right, so now you can see the lighthouse a little bit better, I think, in the background of us here, guys. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me talk right now, but... So yeah, anyway. That is the Rockland Breakwater and Lighthouse. One of, the, like I said, the more popular attractions here in Rockland. So this is supposed to be a good spot, guys, for uh, seal watching also in the harbor. Don't see many today. I've seen a couple of ducks and loons. A Simone right in front of me. But haven't haven't seen any seals though. Also, the Samoset Resort does feature a, uh, I think it's an 18 hole golf course. I'm sure that PJ might be interested in that during the summertime especially. He's been meaning to get up to Maine and experience some more golfing besides in Kennebunkport. So yeah, right up here in Rockland, PJ, about another hour and a half drive to, for you past Kennebunkport. You can come over here and uh, try your hand at uh, the Save Set Resorts golf course. Okay guys, we're back in the warmth of the car. Uh, it was really cold on that breakwater. It's not bad inland, but as soon as you get out of the open water, it is freezing. So I can finally feel my face. It feels really right actually. It is. Kind of like Rudolph, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, we are off to find our hotel now. It's uh, the Hampton Inn. We like to stay at the Hampton Inns because uh, we like them. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, yeah, I'll just find the Hampton Inn here in Rockland and then we'll check into the room and show you guys that. Okay, guys, and here we are in the uh, Hampton Inn and Suites. And uh, I went and splurged on this trip and got ourselves a little hot tub room. I figure we're not going to use the hot tub, the public hot tub downstairs due to the whole pandemic stuff, so why not get one with a private hot tub? Hey. And look, there's even mirrors on every side of it. I'm not sure if that's kinky or classy but but yeah I'm definitely gonna try this out a little bit later we 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 forgot our suits yeah <laughs> oops we'll video Andy in there yeah <laughs> but it is a nice room has a view of a car dealership and uh, a cinema beside us so the view is nothing to brag right home about I should say but hey the room itself is pretty pretty Wait, sweet for the Hampton Suites, that's right. So guys, with every Hampton Inn, you do get a uh, microwave and a fridge that, why the hell can't I open this fridge? Because you're touched. Okay, the fridge is locked. No, it's not. Fridge is, oh, okay. It's All right, so anyway, you get, a, you get a fridge there that opens just like Simone just did it. All right, just that's like good. Just like a normal person, it opens. And you got your, uh, your coffee and your coffee maker down there. Little ice box. Another mirror, a lot of mirrors on this thing here. A lot of mirrors. But opens up to a closet. And then just your average bathroom. Shower. Okay, so there you go. Someone's wiping everything down. Are you gonna clean the entire tub before we get in there? Yeah, and make sure you check for hairs. All right. Cinema girl, she's used to checking for hairs, for curly hairs. I don't see any, I don't see any curly hairs here, Sin, so we should be good to use this hot tub. All right, guys, stock up the fridge with all the essentials. There's one essential. And then we got a, another essential right there. And I think we got one more essential here. So we're here for, here for three days, so we got three bangs. Got three bangs. Uh, one, one for each day, maybe, or one and a half or something like that, so. All right, we are in downtown Rockland now. You can see some leftover Christmas lights here, big balls. And we are crossing over the street here to the Rock Harbor Pub and Brewery. Highly rated on Yelp. Local craft beer. Not a big beer drinker, but I will probably try a craft beer because I always try at least one. 
And if I don't like it, then I guess we're going hard alcohol. But right now we're doing a craft beer as soon as we get over there. That's pretty cool looking place in here. Just came and sat down. You got the bar on one side of the uh, room and then the uh, dining room on the other side. Okay guys, for my uh, craft beer choice, I went with what they call a Copper House ESB. It's an English style bitter. This one here is actually the seasonal pumpkin flavor though, so we're gonna uh, give this a try, see what I think. Not usually a big dark beer fan and it looks pretty dark, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Oh, actually, that's really good. Mm. Yeah? That's actually better than a lot of the pumpkin beers I've had. It's like a pumpkin beer with a darker beer kind of finish. Like, if you wanted to drink beer and have... No. If you wanted to drink coffee and have a pumpkin pie at the same time. So you don't drink coffee. It's pretty good. I like that. Very good. Yeah. All right, guys, starting off with some frickles, otherwise known as fried pickles. And what does pickles say? Pickles gives two thumbs up for the pickles. So there we go. I'm going to uh, see if I concur. Pickly and dilly. Oh, yeah. Those are really good. They're nice and crispy. Nice and thin and nice and crispy. Nice light battering. I don't even think they're seasoned with anything. Just uh, maybe some dill. Maybe some dill? Maybe. Tastes like a homemade ranch too, which is really nice. Yes, it did say homemade yep. Ranch. Good stuff here, guys. All right, guys. So pickles here got a rum punch. So who the hell knows what's actually in it? But wasn't on the menu. It's something they created for them. So rum and it's got rum and some kind of fruit juice. Yes. yes. How is it? It's good. Good. Yeah. All right. There we go. So for my dinner, I went with the Harbor Burger. It's got blue cheese, caramelized onions. It's fresh bacon, and the best part is, so we got some fresh french fries right there, and you guys all know how I feel about french fries. They damn well better be fresh, and they better be crispy. Menu says these are double fried, and they do look definitely crispy to me. And then Simone over here has got some pork pot stickers that were on the menu special tonight, so not normally on the menu, but uh, they are this evening, so we're going to give all this a try. It looks excellent. Okay guys, first try is gonna be pickles here with the pork pot stickers. And once again, this is from the menu special. Hot. It's definitely hot, oh, that's good. Hot is good. And I'm just, and very good, all right. Asian-y, sesame. All right, looks like it's got some run. and there's that run. No, I think that's just the dough. No, it's dough, okay. I don't know what that is. It's got some kind of strange thing in there, potato or raw onion or something, but either way, whatever's in there besides pork is uh, very good. So we got a uh, approved by pickles. And I'm just going to keep talking because there's some copyrighted music right above me. So ginger, whole ginger. All right. We might have some whole ginger in there. All right. We're going to give uh, my burger a try here next, guys. Oh, oh, that must be my right, bacon. We just, we just dropped the bacon. It's That's all, a bad start. It hit the napkin. You're good. It's a very nice looking bun, though. It's very spongy and buttery. And, and he's a bun aficionado. Pretty sure I just dropped onion all over my lap. I won't tell anyone. Nobody needs to know. Onion faux pas. That's very good. Obviously, you have to like blue cheese because there's lots of it on there. They certainly weren't oh, skimpy with it. Also, a good amount of onions on there, which adds a nice sweetness to it. The bacon is really crispy. You can tell it's a piece fell out. But the bacon is nice and crispy. The burger I asked for medium well. It's done perfect. It's a good burger. And the french fries, guys, are really crispy. And fresh. That's a fresh main potato right there. Very good. Okay. All right, guys. I had to uh, mention that this sounded really weird, but Pickles here decided that it would be a good idea to dip the pickle chips into the Asian dressing here, which is for her pot stickers. And it strangely is amazingly good. I mean, it's like better than dipping them in ranch. I don't know if it's the salt on salt or what it is, but it is really good. So if you ever had the opportunity to order an Asian dipping sauce with your frickles, I would uh, highly suggest that. That is a uh, strangely awesome. Wow, right? 
Yeah. It definitely had one beer. He didn't believe me. No, this like, is this is some good stuff right here. It's like, stop. You're being weird. Huh. Fusion cooking at its best, guys. Okay guys, so this is what you do in the evening in Maine when everything closes at 9 p.m. due to the pandemic. You sit in your hotel room and you listen to Kino Kid and Kino Candy on one of their 5,000 live feeds from Las Vegas. So that's what we're doing right now. And then soon we're going to be hopping in that hot tub right over there. But right now, back to the Kinos. We are getting the tub filled up here. Simone's taking off her pants. I don't know if she's forgotten there's a big ass mirror right here or not because uh, we can actually see everything she's doing. Hey, Pickles. Hey, yeah, yeah, just go ahead and uh, continue to doing whatever it was you were doing there. Nope, nobody will, nobody will see a thing. Yeah. There's a hot tub. Yeah, there's a hot tub, yeah, and a big ass mirror which you can see everything going on. How do you turn the shooters on? Uh. Okay. Oh, don't turn the shooters on until the water's actually filled up there. It can't be all hot. It's gonna be... Well, don't make it cold either. We don't want shrinkage. I don't think... Does that work? Oh well, of course it works. What the hell else would it do? Turn. Turn it. Or does it go this way? Or go the other way? Alright, there you go. You got it. Alright. Alright, guys. So, we're gonna jump in this thing as soon as it's full, which could take a little while. By the way, the, uh... Rock, uh, rock, what the hell was it called? What? The Rock Pub Brewing Company thing that we went to tonight was uh, great. Yeah. As you guys could see, the fries were so good I had to have seconds. And uh, the alcohol was very good. The uh, pumpkin ale I had was excellent. And uh, probably going to go into this jacuzzi here and sweat it off here in a few minutes.